We also want to get to our other top story tonight, closing arguments in the trial for officers involved in the death of Elijah McClain. Thanks for being with us. I'm Karen Lee. And I'm Michaela White. The case now in the hands of the jury. Both sides just wrapped up their final arguments. In this case, the defendants are guilty of serious crimes because of the way they handled Mr. McClain and the choices they made that evening. They have to judge and they have to make a split second decision in the dark of night without the luxury of having all the information. Rick Salinger has been watching this trial since jury selection. Yeah, Rick joins us now to walk us through what has happened up until now. So Rick, who did prosecutors call to the stand today? Well, there is no testimony today, but previously when they presented their case, they called on expert witnesses for the most part. And those experts were designed to narrate the video of the body cameras that the officers wore the night that Elijah McClain was stopped. They testified about everything from the stop of McClain to the carotid hold, which cut off the flow of blood to his brain temporarily so he would become unconscious, to the injection of ketamine, and him saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. So there were a lot of experts who were paid a lot of money for their testimony for the prosecution. Rick, we know defense attorneys, they did not call any witnesses. Did they explain why they made this decision? Well, they don't have to explain, and they did not. Sometimes when the defense attorneys decide not to call any witnesses, that's because they want to impress upon the jury that the prosecution's case was so weak. Now. We don't know what the jurors are thinking. Maybe they were looking forward to see who the defense would present. At one point, they had indicated they might call paramedics, not the ones who have been charged and will stand trial later, but others who were on the scene. But that did not happen. That there was a, a point of contention earlier in all of this, in the start of the trial, having to do with the makeup of the jury. Why was that? Well, this jury as of this point, consists of seven men and seven women. We don't know who the two alternates are, but the judge will announce that shortly. The makeup of the jury is largely white, and that was cause for concern by the defense attorneys. Um, they wanted to see that there were some people of color on this jury to give some balance in the arguments. Rick, we appreciate all of your coverage throughout this trial, and we know you'll be with us as they, uh, they come back with a verdict. Thank you so much.